at this point, if you kill the turrets, you get quite a lot of experience, if I remember right, because they are fairly advanced enemies that you're not really supposed to be able to kill. But if you somehow manage to do it, then you get a lot of reward. Ah, uh, okay, well, let's shoot the Red Scorpion. Because it's here. Let me just let it walk towards us before we throw more bullets at it. Oh look, there's dead raiders up here too. Let me loot those guys. Scorpions will poison you if they get close enough. So we do want to avoid that. Oh, actually, I think they actually have loot. Let me just check. No. Uh, in Fallout 1 and 2, I think they have poison stingers that you can loot for and sell them for money. Not in this game, though. Oh, look, there's like uh, guns and radix and ammo. That's cool. And spears and stim packs. Yeah, that's, that's worthwhile. That's why we come up here. That, that's why we want to check everything. Alright, so there's nothing on the red scorpions. And there's one more. Let me run to here before I start shooting it. Okay, that completely missed. Good job, Stein. Good job. Come on. Shoot it. There you go. And of course there's more. Let me uh, end the turn, let it walk closer. They're worth a bit of experience, not too much. It's quite a big area up here, isn't it? I'm gonna make sure we check everything for loot. And, uh... I, I really don't remember if... There's anything here that we can use to kill the turrets. Let me just try uh, an aim shot. Carapace head, hind legs, eyes... No, completely missed. The most worthwhile thing to hit might be the tail. If we break the tail, I think it means it can't poison us. Don't remember. Ooh, hey, this is bad. It's really close to us. Maybe if you, like, break the forelegs. Well, it was a critical hit, but it didn't break its legs. Alright. Nope, nope. Alright, stop. Good. Oh, hey, there's more of you. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, uh, what should we do? Let's burst. That didn't do as much as I would hope. This is where we start to uh, be a little bit more concerned. Okay, two of them are almost dead. Somebody please kill this rat scorpion. Okay, there you go. There's a lot of them, aren't there? Alright, I think we're okay. Ah, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. That back. 
single and first single in combat. Alright, well, a little bit more experience. Ah, there you go, there's more loot. Of course there is. What do we have here? Punch glove, some ring pulls, some drugs. Not that useful. And a, a pie. And more drugs. Nothing really to help us fight the robots. I think you can aim for the optics of the robots. I think the optics are vulnerable to getting shot. But that's like you have to get like a critical hit on an aim shot on the on the most difficult to hit part of the robot to actually get any damage in. All right. Well, we'll see how we do. How we do. We probably don't need to fight the robots. All right. Here we go. We are going to save the game. Go downstairs, and the scorpions immediately waiting to ambush us. Let me uh, come over here. Also, cockroaches. Ah, uh, Rebecca, burst fire. If you're wondering who I'm choosing to burst fire, it's always the person who's in front of everyone that I'm choosing to burst fire, because that's the person who isn't going to hit other people when they spray. Although, you know, in case of emergencies, anything, anything goes. Alright, so that's the uh, scorpion. There's two cockroaches, and there's cockroaches there as well. So we're gonna get surrounded by cockroaches pretty soon. That's okay, because we've got AK-47s, and we will spray them. Alright, so Robin, burst fire this one. So we killed two, that's not bad. That's pretty good, in fact. And uh, we're going to single shot the rest. Maybe I shouldn't have bursted, because they, <laughs> they die from one hit, so maybe I should have just conserved my ammo. Also, since we're relatively close range, I might just switch everything to the AKs. Because everything is, is kind of close in here, right? There's no long range sniping in this map. Doing some room to room combat. There is that guy. I think all the cockroaches can poison you, or maybe only the big ones, I don't remember. Robin, shoot. Good job. Uh, I guess the rest can overwatch. We shouldn't, in fact. Alright, one in combat. Save. Good. And I suppose we just start moving ahead and killing bugs. There's that guy. Dead. It's not gonna be difficult. Let's see, he's got drugs and a club. He's got. <laughs> Look at this. Tiger claws, gloves with short claws built into the palms. So there's these really interesting, really interesting um, melee weapons that you're just never gonna use. Like they're all more or less decorative. Let's see, which way are we going? Oh, there's a map. We didn't look at the map, did we? Pip Boy map. 
this is an insertion point, a ladder here that leads to the top of the cliff, the elder location to the village appears friendly to the ladder, that's not really helpful. Alright, so there's no map of the um, actual bunker. And uh, there's this thing. And then you have to go all the way around to get to here, and then there's like... The boss is here, there is a boss. And there's all of that, all of those rooms, okay. So I suppose the first thing we should do is come back here because there's a dead end here and there's loot along the way. Alright, I can do that. Also keep an eye out for bugs that will try to kill us. So that's a big cockroach, who will poison you if you're not careful, if you save the game. Come over here. So it missed us, which means that we should finish it off quickly. Like it will, it will spit poison at you, and if it hits you, you get poisoned, and poison means that you lose health over time, which kind of sucks. And I think if these little things bite us, we also get poisoned. I'm not sure. Are you kidding me? How did you miss that? You missed twice! You missed three times! Three times! 95% chance to hit, you missed three times. Alright, you guys, okay, stop, stop hitting each other, please. Alright, I'm just gonna compulsively reload because that's how I play games. Uh, wait, would you. Mandy hit Rad Scorpion? What Rad Scorpion? She shot this way. The rat scorpion... What rat scorpion did you hit? It must be above ground, somehow. Well, they're shooting at something. There's something... <laughs> There's a red scorpion above ground somewhere. Maybe I should find it. It's apparently above ground over here. I should probably find it before it starts killing all the... What? Well, well, it's dead. There's more of them. Okay, well that's... There are rat scorpions... Wait a minute, above... Hold on, let me save, save the game. Go back out. No, keep going, keep going. There are rat scorpions... Oh, they're out here? Why would they... How do you... Oh, they're out there. Okay, let me... Well, okay, let me just... Take a break from finding the fusion batteries. There's red scorpions behind here. Wow, I didn't even see them. No, keep going. What are you guys doing? The pathfinding in this game is uh, a little bit suspect. So the exit is that way. And there's red scorpions over here. And of course we shoot them through the ground because, you know, this game is like that. Glitches galore. Oh, they're there! <laughs> Alright, well. Let's uh, kill this thing. Oh crap, I just po got poisoned. Ah, uh, so that was a little bit too aggressive, I just got poisoned. You lose health over time, but then the poison also goes away over time. So I don't think it's that scary. 
but we need to keep an eye on it. I'm still using the AK-47s, and apparently they're really accurate. Let me end turn. So there's more raiders over here. Hopefully we'll get some good loot off these guys. Something to uh, use against the turrets, hopefully, but probably not. Alright, far sight. Can you spray this guy? Eight points of damage was not as much as I was hoping for. Can you spray this guy, Robin? Eighteen is better. Although that was pretty bad. Alright, that's one. I'm using the AKs because they're, they do more damage. They're less accurate at range, but they do more damage. And since we, since the uh, the, the the scorpions don't f don't shoot back at us, I think we are okay to let them come closer, and then we'll just kind of take them on mid range and take advantage of the uh, ex extra damage of the AK. That's not great. All right, there you go. We are poisoned, and if you're interested, we can... Look at that, your character has been poisoned. Poison will do damage over a period of time until cured or it passes from your system. Yeah. So you can just kind of ignore it. If it's light poisoning, you can just ignore it. And eventually it'll go away, but of course you'll lose health until it does. Not that it's too big of a problem. If you get severely poisoned, that's a bit more of a problem. A scout handbook, let me just check. 18 outdoorsmen, 57... Alright, so Farsight has the most outdoorsmen. Let me um, give this to Farsight. Save the game, and then we'll see if she learned anything from this. Alright, good, she did. 72 outdoorsmen. So at, at some point, reading will not give you any more new information. I think like if you're past 100%, um, on, on any skill, then reading will not actually help you anymore. I think this gun is not bad, but it's also not good compared to the AK-47, so we're gonna ignore it. <laughs> There's a lot of guns in this game, and they're all pretty bad. All you do is you find the best gun, and you use it. Everything else you sell. I guess that's a bit like real life, right? Everybody uses AK-47s or M16s. Alright, so we killed those scorpions, which is kind of useful. Oh, outdoorsman! So remember the the random encounters we were facing in the uh, in the wasteland earlier. If you get a hundred percent in outdoorsman, then you can actually choose whether to engage all the time. So so the percentage is basically how often you get to decide whether you uh, want to want the encounter or not. Guys, can you just go downstairs please? Good. So like sometimes you get to choose whether you go to the encounter and sometimes you don't. But if you get 100% outdoorsman, then you can choose every single time. Which is useful, especially later, when the encounters become more dangerous. Uh, okay, that ice chest is a loot. Let me just keep running around. Who the... what the... Alright, well Mandy hits time for three points. Okay, I guess Stein killed the cockroach and then Mandy hit Stein in the back. And the turns take a very long time. There are a lot of bugs down here. All right, well that, that takes a, a while in combat. So you see the poison? I'm getting hit by poison every now and then. 
losing one health every single time that happens. Again, I'm not too concerned. Uh, Stein? Shoot the bugs. Is that Robin? No, that's Simon. Simon, shoot that bug. End turn. Alright. How did the Okay, there's a, there's a, wait a minute, there's a large cockroach, but it's a aggroed on the... Hmm. Ah, oh, that worked out kind of well. Does it overwatch? I don't remember. Like, if I run out here, does it overwatch and hit me? I was gonna walk. It's crippled, it's gonna slowly walk towards me. Interesting. It's not gonna help you. Alright. Get sprayed and get shot. So that worked out quite well. Ah, uh, let's go back to single shot. Stop spraying. I think that's all the bugs down here. Actually, I should check the bugs for loot. I don't think they're near them, but I don't. And the next thing we want to do is try and shoot these bugs through the wall, I think. Just because exploits. That is a yellow pass key, let me take that. We'll need that later on. So this is the antidote, you can use that to clear the poison, but you can already see that the poison's already gone. Yeah, it's already gone. So it didn't actually do very much damage, so getting poison is not a big deal. Unless you are like really low on health, or you get poisoned a lot of times. Otherwise, it's not really a concern. Okay, I... Glitch through the wall somehow? Oh, well, maybe, maybe, no, no. All right, so we can't, we can't shoot that guy through the wall. Can kind of sense the bugs behind the doors. All right, so we're gonna come around this way. We find a key guard, and we're gonna clear out these rooms, I guess. How should we do this? I guess we should line up. By the open door, and then I get one person ready to spray. That worked out quite well. That worked out remarkably well. Except when you hit yourself, or like hit your own teammates. Like that? Can you, can you like stop hitting yourself? I don't know, like... Whenever you try to hit something that's already dead, you almost always hit the next closest thing. Like, it, it doesn't... You know, if you're actually aiming for a live cockroach, the chances of you hitting someone else in the way is almost zero. But if that cockroach is somehow dead before you start firing, the chance of you hitting your teammate is actually close to 100%, which is kind of weird if you think about it. It's, it's like, maybe it's just something to... Maybe do it deliberately, maybe because like, it's over... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Some of these are trapped, let me just try to open this. That's not trap good. Maybe it's just because like stacking your your dudes is just so overpowered that they deliberately do that to nerf your ability to just stack guys up and shoot people as a group. 